Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the third video of the series, Introduction to Laplace Transform. And again, we'll just go through the definitions. You know that the Laplace Transform of a function fs is also written as capital Fs, is actually integral of the function multiplied by e minus st dt, where s is a complex frequency. And also, we'll follow some of the tables. So, I'm um, just for your reference, I have uh, given it here. So, let's straight away move on to the problems. Example 15.5. We have to find the Laplace transform of this gate function. So, let's see how we can. Uh, uh, define this function uh, with the help of a graph. This function can be represented by a unit step function. It is starting from time t is equal to 2. So we we'll write it as u t minus 2. It is shifted by 2 and the magnitude is 10. The magnitude is 10. So keep the magnitude 10. So 10 u t but this is unit step function and it will continue till infinity. To get this or terminate it at this point, we have to subtract a function of equal strength. So we subtract a function at this point and this is 10 u t minus 3 at point t is equal to 3 we are subtracting. So this will be written as uh, 10 u t minus 3 and with the minus sign here it is on the negative side. And now if we add the two, we'll get this gate function. So mathematically we can write that this gate function gt is 10 u t minus 2. So this function minus this function 10 u t minus 3. And if we take a 10 common, then we get these two terms. And now let's see how to find the uh, Laplace transform. We'll be using the time shift property. This property is given in the book. It is written like this. But some books also write a shortcut form. They just do away with ut. So Laplace of function t minus a is actually equal to e raised to the power minus a s and f s. Now what is f s? f s is the Laplace transform of the function f t. So let's apply this our function, main function without shifting is ut and its Laplace transform is 1 over s. So if we apply now here 10 ut minus 2 is shifted so e minus a s or e minus 2 s in our case the shifting is by 2 so e minus 2 s f s so f s is 1 over s so we put 1 over s here and similarly the second term u t minus 2 is e raised to the power minus t s f s f s is 1 over s so this is the answer so this is one way of doing there is another way that we will discuss so this is the second method and the second method what we do is we take differential so we are taking differential if we differentiate this function you will get a delta function or a straight line going up this is up direction and the magnitude of this line is 10 delta t minus 2 because it is at the delta is at, at t is equal to 2 so delta t minus 2 this is coming down so it will be in the negative direction so this will be negative 10 delta t minus 3 because it is at t is equal to 3 so this is the differential form So mathematically now we can write the differential form of the gate as 10 delta t minus 2 minus 10 delta t minus 3. So summation of these two. Now this is the formula that we just learned about the time shifting formula. So because here is also time shifting, so we'll apply this formula. Let's find out what is fs. fs is of delta, delta. Laplace is 1, so in, in this case fs will be 1. 
there is another formula that if you uh, take the Laplace of a differential, we will get is SFS minus F0. So let's ignore this for the time being, uh, initial condition. So in our case, since our function is G dash T, so its Laplace will be SGS. So now let's take the Laplace of this. So taking the Laplace, G dash T will be SGS from here. 10, 10, delta T minus 2 will now be E minus 2S multiplied by 1 from this formula. E minus AS, or in case it is 2, so E minus 2S and FS is 1 in this case, so multiplied by 1. And similarly here it is minus 10, E raised to the power, minus 3, minus 3S. And we need to find GS, so we just divide by S. So GS is 10 over S and this term. So this is the answer, it is the same answer that we got in the previous slide. This is the practice problem. Now here also we, we got to define this uh, and there are a couple of ways. One is that we separate this, we take this as a, this gate and the second part is another smaller gate of magnitude 10. This is of magnitude 20. And just like before we can draw this, we, we can take a step function like this which is going all the way and we have to terminate this at t is equal to 4 therefore this is 20 ut this will be minus 20 ut minus 4 because it is subtracting at t is equal to 4 so the addition of these two will gi give us this function and exactly same way we can define this so here also we have a 10 ut minus 4 this uh, unit step function at t is equal to 4 and we are terminating at, at t is equal to 8 so minus 10 ut minus 8 and now the addition of these all four will give us this function so ht will be the summation of these two plus summation of these two and since ut4 ut4 we can solve it will become minus 10 ut4 so after solving we get this equation so this is the uh, equation in terms of uh, of ht in time domain now we have to convert it into laplace so we'll be using the shifting property here also this was the shifting property if you recall since our function ft is ut so fs is 1 over s we know so ut fs is 1 over s and in the first case since there is no shifting so we write 20 ut 1 over s in the second case there is a shifting so we write e raised to the power minus 40 because it is shifting by minus 4 and 1 over s that is fs and similarly in this case it is minus uh, e raised to the power minus 8 fs fs is 1 over s so 1 over s and we can take a common so 10 and s taken common so this is the uh, final answer that we have now if you feel more can uh, comfortable you could do it at the uh, in one graph 20 ut so 20 ut is going at t is equal to 4 we drop by 10 so at t is equal to 4 we drop by 10 and then continue till 4 at t is equal to 8 we further drop by 10 so further drop by 10 and so in our case the answer will be sum of the three so 20 ut minus 10 ut 4 and minus 10 ut 8 so it is the same form formula and same answer we will get. Okay, here also we will try to solve it by the differentiation as well. And whichever way you feel comfortable, you can work with that. 
For taking the differential, we get this curve here at of amplitude 2, 20 delta. This is coming down, so it will be on the negative side, so minus 10 delta. And here also it will be minus 10 delta. So HT is 20 delta, 20 delta, minus 10 delta T minus 4, this one and minus 10 delta t minus 8 and again using the formula we know st dash t is equal to shs so this will be when we transform it into laplace shs and our fs fs is 1 so we'll apply that for, 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 for this formula, actually, the shifting formula, EAS FS, so this FS is 1 actually. So, what we have done is we have the Laplace of this, we said FHS, we are writing it SHS, 2020 20 Laplace of delta, T is 1, so 1, minus 10. Since we are shifting, so we write E minus 4S, E minus 4S, and Laplace of delta, 1, no need of writing that. And same here, minus 10, E raised to the power, minus 8. Now this is for SHS, we only need HS, and therefore we divide it by S. So HS is 10 over S, and, and these terms here. So this is the answer, it is the same that we got uh, with the other graph. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of problem. Thank you.